What happens when the world gets taken over by zombies? Oh, I'll tell you, I thought long and hard about that. You got all them TV dinners down there. As long as Brandon stops eating all the brownies at. I'll tell you, my kids are going to come back from playing one day, find out I already barricaded the house without them. Before the zombies come. I tell you, don't even bother put a barricade up because Jeffy would still get in. Hey, is there a day I see him down here in the storm drain? I said, what the hell are you doing down the storm drain? He says, I'm looking for the teenage turtles. I says, Jeffy, I hope you find that clown from It. He's a clown from It is afraid of running into Jeffy. Jeffy knows the clown from It's fears. When the zombies come, we're going to need that good camping equipment like we have down Ohio Pile. What do you mean you left it down Rezepniak's house? All of it. Jeez, that's gone. Forget it. Geez, they probably sold it for a case of beer by now. No, he ain't going down to live in Monroeville Mall. Geez, I'd be coming up with survival plans and, and Deb would be shoving Yankee candles in my face for me to smell them. That Century 3 Mall, that's already been taken over by zombies. I'll tell you, if we can get in a boat in a, on a river, we'd be safe. Oh, them locks didn't stop Bruce Willis in striking distance. Went right over him. Saved Sarah Parker's Jessica. Take your car. Rick, I don't even trust your car to get us down big lots. You know, when the zombie starts surrounding the car, I want to be protected by a little bit more than a wet cardboard. Get a helicopter? Well, who the hell's going to fly it, Linda? You. Oh, yeah, back in high school, I seen you derail the Christmas train down the mall. Kids was jumping off like it was the fugitive. Guy from KB Toys come running out, giving all the kids blankets. Had a candlelight vigil over wicks and sticks. Piano and organ store was playing nothing but sad hymns all week. Don Cannon come out and did the story. Don't you remember that? Hey, Brandon, we can use that ninja sword I got you down the flea market. I mean, the, the one I'm going to get you down the flea market when, when Mom and I says you're old enough. First thing I got to do is take out Tom. Oh, I don't care if he's a zombie or not. I got to take out Tom. You think I'm going to be denied that, that, that privilege? It's like that Walking Dead show. There's only one leader, one Rick, and I'm him. So, Rick, you're going to have to be T-Dog, Shane, or Lori. The only character that's worth anything on that show is Daryl. Let's make a whole show called Daryl. You can cut out that Tracy Chapman with the sword girl. Wilford Brimley on one leg. Cut them out of the show. Rick, if you were the leader of the group, we'd be holed up down Golden Corrals. The zombies be dipping you in that chocolate fountain. Jeez, I can't imagine a Rick zombie. The way that guy eats. Jeez, you take out McKee's rocks in an hour. Deb, you're going to kill zombies. Geez, you freak out when a, when a stink bug lands in your hair. I mean, getting a paper towel, getting it, getting it out of your hair, flushing it down the toilet, went up and worst your hair three times. I'll tell you, I might want Jeffy on the team. Wait, you ever see that kid climb? Geez, he's better than that kid from Who's Eating Gilbert's Grape. My ultimate zombie team? Snake Eyes, Andrew McCutcheon, and Pat Morita. If he's still alive. He could come back as a zombie though, so I'd probably keep him on there anyways. You imagine you sitting there and a zombie Pat Marita come out? Yes, Jessica, we're still going to church during the apocalypse. Probably even more often. And CCD, ain't get out of that. Well, how do you know back team won't work on zombie bites? No one ever tried it.